Hello. Day eight. Imagine, day eight. If you had asked me a week ago Saturday when I was having my worst day humanly possible at the hospital, what I was going to feel like in a week, I never thought I'd feel that good. Yesterday I ended up having kind of a rough day. It was a day where uh, the stomach just didn't want to know, really. You know, I tried two spoons full of soup and yeah, no, Gertrude, my stomach, I've named her Gertrude now, Gertrude the gut, um, she was not having any of it yesterday. So uh, yesterday was mostly protein water, a couple of spoons of soup. Didn't do so well on my total uh, total intake. But listen to my body. She wasn't having any of it yesterday, and I gave her a break. Today I've kept it super simple. I had some uh, some cream soup. I've had a bunch of protein water, and I'm going to have uh, some kind of uh, um, puree thing later uh, today for, for dinner. I'm making sure I'm getting all my water and as much protein as I can get in me. Um, but keeping it slow, listening to my body, doing what I need to do. Um, good news, yesterday afternoon I got out my staples. What a cool little nifty contraption that is. I've never had staples before and they look like actual staples. Like So for any of you who don't have never had staples, imagine two layers of skin that have been pushed together and then they put a staple. Not flat in like paper, but you know, like this. So it's holding it together, right? And to be honest, I was actually picturing, you ever see a staple remover where you and pull it out? Um, I was picturing that, so I wasn't sure what it was going to feel like. But no, they have this really nifty little contraption. So for those of you who've already had your staples removed at some point, feel free to skip ahead. This is going to be boring. So imagine this is a staple, and the contraption pushes so that it does this. It's so cool. No pain at all. Absolutely no pain. And it doesn't stretch or pull, and it just kind of takes the staple and does this and they just pop right out. It was so nifty. Um, I had six different incision points. Um, two of them had two on two staples on one, three on the other, but all the others had six staples in each. And the whole appointment from beginning, middle, and walking out the door, uh, 10 minutes. It was fabulous. Really great. So getting my staples removed was awesome. I was a little disappointed to find out I still couldn't take a shower yet last night. She asked me to please wait another 24 hours. They put on Steri strips. Everything's looking good. I'm healing beautifully. The staple holes themselves were starting to look really angry. After seven days, my body didn't want to know from these staples. Um, but the, the incision lines are beautiful. I thought I was going to end up with these gnarly scars. Like when you when you look at the staples, it's all nasty. And I, I didn't care. You know, it's not like uh, I was worried about bikini season. But I figured I'd end up with six pretty raunchy looking scars. They're just going to be a thin little line. Very cool. I'm, I'm very impressed with staples. Like I said, my first experience with staples and, and uh, yeah, rather impressed. They heal quite nicely. I find they actually heal better than stitches, like old fashioned uh, thread stitches. I find that there's, you end up with a, less of a scar. Well, that's what I think so far based on what it looks like eight days in. So that's the beginning, middle and end of my knowledge on the staple subject. So aside from that, today's a good day. Um, Uncle John popped in to check on me and my brother and sister-in-law, uh, Alan and Kathy, came by for a visit. So we had coffee and I got from the grocery store a little coffee cake type thing to offer them something to nosh on. And it doesn't bug me because I don't have a sweet tooth, so I didn't care that that was in the house. It's not something that's going to trigger me or set me off. And uh, I had my decaf coffee with a little bit of protein shake used uh, as creamer. And it was great. We sat around and had the best visit I've probably had in ages. And it was lovely. We just sat around talking and caught them all up on me. And I got to catch up on their life. And uh, so today was a really good day. And uh, a funny subject came up today while we were babbling. And I mentioned that, no, 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 no more bubbles. And they looked at me and they went, no more bubbles. And one of the things I found out um, in the, the pre-op uh, information session is that after you have the surgery, it's not a good idea to ever have carbonated anything really ever again. And the reason we're given is that it can expand and it can expand your stomach. And so basically, no. And I gather from my conversations with other people who've gone through things, everybody finds that one thing that scares the crap out of them that they're going to have to give up when they're doing this change of life. And me, that one thing was soft drinks. I had worked my way on to drinking only diet soft drinks, and I had worked my way, you know, my famous uh, try not to overindulge on my indulgences. 
But if it wasn't for health matters, I like bubbles. If it wasn't for the fact that it's not healthy for you in my regular life even, I'd have been drinking Diet Dr. Pepper, my favorite. Um, I'd have been drinking it morning, noon, and night. I'd get up in the morning and have it and drink it all day, and that would just be the only thing I would drink, that and coffee. I wasn't doing that, but I'm just saying, if I had had my druthers and could have done anything I wanted, that's what I would have done. I love bubbles. To the point that I've been saving up for one of those machines, you know, to put bubbles in your own water trying to find yet another, like after I switched from full sugar soft drinks a couple of years ago, then wanting to switch to making my own carbonated something. So I've been saving up for one of these machines, you know, so that I can, yeah, luckily I didn't buy one of those machines. I'd have been very disappointed to find out that I couldn't use it anymore. So no more bubbles. And that scared me no end. And I remember posting in the online group, oh my God, what's that like? Um, and everyone said, don't worry, you won't miss it. And I was surprised. Like at first, everyone said, don't worry, you won't miss it. And I thought, yeah, you don't know me. You don't know how much I love bubbles. What do you mean, don't worry, I won't miss it? It's bubbles. I love bubbles. I love carbonated anything. But especially if it's really carbonated and like rips your throat out on the way down. Oh, yummy. So I gave up my, my bubbles for the four-week liquid diet. Now, technically, there was no calories, no carbs, no anything. Could have had some if I wanted, but I wanted the, definitely that transition point. I wanted to not be going from bubbles to no bubbles on the night of my surgery. So I didn't have any. About halfway through my four-week um, uh, pre-op liquid diet, it was Dan's birthday. He and the kids were here, and I, he loves bubbles the way I love, but there haven't been any in my house. Um, so I wanted to treat him. So I got a case of Diet Dr. Pepper, which we both love. And I gave myself a can. I opened it up, had a sip, it was tasty. Drank about half of it, and then poured the rest of my, uh, my can in Dan's glass. I was fine with it, actually. Um, I'm not saying I'm not gonna have moments in the future where I wish, oh, gee, a nice ice cold Diet Dr. Pepper, that'd be awesome, but I'm good. I never would have possibly guessed that giving up bubbles would be as easy as it is. Goodness, I think if giving up a lot of other things were as easy as giving up bubbles, life would be a little easier right now. Anyway, so I guess today that's what it's about. Staples and bubbles. Today is day eight. Oh, other good news. I weighed myself today. I've decided I'm only going to weigh myself once a week. I don't want to stress out and become obsessed and look at it every day. And eight days later, I am eight pounds lighter. So I'm very pleased. That brings my total up, including pre-op diet, to 38 pounds lost. So I'm very happy. All in all, today is a good day. Family came over, visit. I'm feeling good. Stomach's feeling more settled. Staples are out. I get to shower tonight. And tomorrow, all things being equal, assuming Gertrude, the stomach, is, is in the mood for it, tomorrow I get to have an egg. Tomorrow's the first day of stage three very excited, an egg. So uh, yeah, day eight is a really good day.